Hi guys, welcome back to the hangar. I had a question come up recently about aerial photography. Is it covered, is it not covered? Uh, what limitations? Uh, and it depends policy to policy. And you know, I've, I know you've heard me say that uh, in the past. Most important thing to do is read your policy. But in short, if you're insured for pleasure in business, um, that's insuring you for things that you're not making a charge for. So if you're out and you're flying aerial photography, let's say uh, somebody's wanting to pay you to take a picture of their farm or their new house. If you're operating under a commercial operation, even if you're doing it as part 91, your policy uh, probably won't cover that. Um, every one of the policies that I can think of off the top of my head is going to exclude photography that requires an FAA waiver, even if there's no charge being made. If it's just you and your buddy going up to uh, you know, take a picture of fill in the blank. If it requires an aviation waiver, they're not going to insure it. It's going to be excluded. Um, it, it does not apply to air to air photography, again, unless you are charging for your service, at which point you're going to have to get the aerial photography endorsement added to your policy. And, and on that note, you can get aerial photography endorsements added to the policy that allows you to do these things. But if it's just you and I and you call me and say, hey, Chris, let's, uh, I got a new steerman. Let's go up and, and do some formation. And um, John's going to fly with us as a photo ship. And let's just take some pictures. That's covered all day long. Um, there's another limitation on it if you're doing this professionally. <clears throat> if you've got external cameras set up on the, on the aircraft if, or if you've got a, a hole cut in the floor uh, for doing photography of the ground, photo equipment is not covered. Um, now again, on that aerial photography endorsement, they can add that and in some cases they will cover it, um, but it's an additional charge. But your camera equipment, um, if you've got a gyro stabilized platform, none of that stuff's going to be covered under the standard policy. Some companies um, like Chartis and the others, they will allow you to do some of this on a temporary basis, i.e. you do one or two flights a year, you got a buddy that's a professional photographer. He, He's wanting to go up and he's getting paid to take photos of some land. He's going to reimburse you for operating expenses. The policies will allow you to do that. Now, uh, some of the policies or the underwriters will say, if you're doing it for more than 25 hours a year, then they're going to charge you uh, the aerial photography endorsement and have that added. Are they going to ask to see it? Only if you have a loss while you're doing it and they may ask to see your log books. Um, are they going to really look into it? Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't roll the dice if this is something you're doing on a routine basis. But if it's just something you're doing once or twice a year, again, it would be covered. You would be OK. So as always, read your policy. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Call your current agent. You can also find more information on our website, aviationinsurance.com. We've also got a blog, clearontop.com. Get out there, get to flying, have a good time, and be safe. We'll see you.